When you're in a helicopter and you're flying over this landscape, it looks like it's not that steep. Being up in the air doesn't do him justice at all. Emilio and his guides would warn you, hey, don't get too close to that cactus. Yeah, everything is loose rock, loose gravel. Don't touch that cactus. Thorns. The traditions of the outdoor sportsmen are more important than ever, and it's up to us to pass them on to others. Two families, one passion to inspire the next generation of ethical hunters and conservationists, continuing the legacy of hunting and fishing in the outdoors. Monterey, Mexico. Emilio had us set up to take a helicopter ride here to the lodge, which was absolutely amazing. My name is Victor Trujillo, good friend of Mike DeAndes. We've been hunting together for quite some time. He was lucky enough to uh, get the tag to hunt La Pomosa from uh, Nevada Bighorns Unlimited. The trip to get to La Pomosa is, is quite exciting. When you get into Monterrey, Mexico, you uh, can either take a helicopter or it's a three and a half hour trek. It took us about 45 minutes in a helicopter. Uh, we got to see the lay of the land. It was really exciting because I have been here a few times, but for Mike to be able to see it from the air, and then once you get here, to see how beautiful this place is, kind of just takes your breath away. A lot of game out here. They got desert sheep, they have mule deer, elk, uh, whitetail. So they have a variety of species out here, but we're after the bighorn sheep. You, know, you land, you get checked into the lodge, go down to the rifle range, make sure your gun's zeroed. Good, and then you, uh, you know, get your stuff ready and you've got an afternoon of hunting the first day you get here. Let's see if we can find us a ramp, so I'm trying to psych myself up for this hike we're about to go on, so wish me luck. <laughs> are different here from the bottom than they are from the air. When you're in the helicopter and you're flying over this landscape, it looks like it's not that steep. Being up in the air doesn't do them justice at all. Emilio and his guides would warn you, hey, don't get too close to that cactus. Yeah, everything is loose rocks, loose gravel. Don't touch that cactus. Thorns. I don't know what the one plant was, but Victor said, go buy it, but don't back up or it'll end up in your legs. There's bugs that'll bite you. It's wild Mexico out here. I guess when you see it on film, it doesn't do it justice for what it really is. If you ever get the chance to come down to Mexico, it doesn't even have to be hunting, but just go walk out in the desert and <laughs> you'll know what I'm talking about. Welcome to Mexico. Get it? Yeah. So on day one, we took off in the Jeep and we drove around to uh, one of the canyons back here. 
We'd seen sheep up there before. Uh, There's supposed to be a pretty good ram up there. It took us probably six hours to get to the top of the mountain. Saw some sheep, but nothing that was really worth getting a closer look at. And so we just stayed on the mountain all day and worked our way down a ridge and looked at all the different little canyons and crevices that you couldn't see from, from the bottom. Unfortunately, when we were up there, we couldn't find the big ram. Uh, we hunted the rest of the day, walked off the rim, saw a couple small ones, but nothing that we were looking for. So that kind of, you know, took the day right there. My kid, he loves hunting. I mean, he'd rather be here than in school, right? And he's like, his buddies are like, why do you go, like, walk around the mountains and do that? And he's like, because it's fun and I enjoy yeah. it. And I'd rather be nowhere else than yeah. out there with my dad. Right. And they're like, yeah, this sounds like hard work. And he's like, it is, but it's like super rewarding, rewarding right? Yeah. yeah. It's rewarding. So on the second day, we decided to try a different spot. After a while, we did find a really good ram that, that we were looking for. Crossed one mesa, went up to another one, just worked our way across where we thought the general area of this ram might be. So we sat down and we were glassing this big canyon off of a mesa. Juan, my guide, have no idea how he spotted this ram. I usually like to think I'm pretty good at spotting animals. You know, my buddy Victor, he's, he's very good at it but nobody saw this ram except for Juan. One of the most amazing spots I've ever seen <laughs> in my hunting career. So we made a plan. Got down in the prone position, 390 yards, and. Let the RMP go to work. Woo, buddy. Pretty freaking awesome, dude. Yeah. You know, and when the ram went down, I, I felt like I was, you know, 12 year old kid again with my first tag because it had, it's been a long time for me. 20 years is a long time. You know, the emotions hit you. And then as you're walking up to the ram, the anticipation of seeing it. And then when you get close and did this really happen? Is it real? Am I here? You know, like somebody pinched me. Am I, am I awake or am I dreaming this? It was well worth the wait though. Hunters that spend money or excess amounts of money on those big auction tags, I do want you to understand that all of that money goes to conservation because it puts funds in the pockets of organizations like Wild Sheep Foundation, Nevada Bighorns Unlimited, Grand Slam, Mule Deer Foundation, Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation. All of those organizations have more funds to put, you know, building guzzlers for water for sheep, reseeding a burn area, or whatever it might be. All that money goes into conservation. So we want to see them thrive. We want to see them get bigger, for them to grow, for them not to have disease and die off. You know, I hope people understand the balance of conservation. Uh, you know, the guides and, and the people here at the lodge will, will use every bit of that sheep that we harvested, so nothing goes to waste. We ate some for dinner last night. Uh, we're going to eat some for lunch today. 
So after Mike shot the Ram, to see how excited he got, you know, that just kind of, it, it, it just made this whole trip. Seeing Mike get this excited was, was just great. There is one thing that I would like to say. Uh, our cameraman, Josiah, they never get any credit for the hard work that they put in and the, 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 the job that they do. I just wanted to say thanks. You did a darn good job and we really appreciate it. For those of you that have watched the show and that know me, I'm a, I'm kind of a mule deer freak. I mean, that's that's my real, if I had one animal to pick, that'd be my real passion is mule deer hunting. It, that's been my main, main focus for a long time. And, you know, talking to my buddy Victor about going sheep hunting again. And I'm really, really glad I did it. You know, Victor kind of, kind of pushed me to do this one and I, I thank him for coming down here with me and I appreciate his friendship and uh, yeah, this is a great place. I, I'm thankful that I got to do it.